Oh my gosh, the color on this girl is freaking me out. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Can you do me a favor before we get started? Can you comment down below and let me know how your day is going? The comments have been a little weak lately, so I am looking forward to hearing more about you guys. And now that I am back, I can spend more time with you guys. But I do have something exciting going on here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at that beautiful king right there. And guess what she has? A whole bunch of eggs. Look at that, guys. That's right, it's Colubert egg season. How exciting is that? And that is one big clutch of eggs right there. Oh, doggy, I cannot wait to get into this and see what we've got going on. Take a look real quick, let's look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, what an absolutely gorgeous clutch. That's two, four, six, eight, 10 good eggs. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. I love egg season and I cannot wait till little babies start hatching out. Let's go ahead and get these guys set up and I'll kind of walk you through. For those of you guys that don't remember last breeding season, I'll give you the whole rundown. We actually use a vermiculite when it comes to the colubrids. Now you guys know we use hatch right for pythons and gecko eggs, but with colubrids, we've always found that the vermiculite that is damp but not wet seems to work really well. So basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clutch of eggs and you can see that they're very stuck together and I've told you guys a million times why that is. That basically is so they hair together so they don't roll around because the embryo attaches to the very tops of the eggs like right like this and if they roll around they'll actually drown. That's mother nature's way of saving the clutch and we basically just dimple them into that vermiculite just a little bit. Now the vermiculite is damp to the touch but not wet to the touch. So if you take a hand of vermiculite and you squeeze it and water comes out it's too wet. You should have it to where it clumps up really good but you can't get any excess moisture out of it. And then we just basically set it in this box. We go ahead, we put the top on it. We're gonna actually find an area, which we usually do at the top of these racks, that are about 82 degrees. That is exactly where you wanna incubate colubrid eggs. And they're gonna hatch at about 56 to 62 days. That's pretty much as much as it is, to be totally honest with you. It's not rocket science, you know? And then when they hatch out, they'll go through a shed and then start feeding. Regardless, we have one other clutch to pull today. And that's this one right here. You guys are gonna love this one. Woo, doggy, look at that. I know you guys love Mexican black king snakes. This is the mama. Good job, mama. You look absolutely incredible. And so many of you guys have been like, when are you going to have Mexican black kings? We want baby Mexican black kings. Well, this is the start. This is actually our second clutch, believe it or not. And there's really long eggs. Look at there's two and four eggs. I mean, it's really strange when you have a snake that that size that only lays four eggs. But just look at how long and slender that is. You saw the cow king clutch before that. They were kind of more rounded eggs and there was a whole lot more of them. These guys are very long and very big. So what's going to happen is these snakes are going to probably hatch out a little bigger than the other snakes because they were smaller eggs. Regardless, I would rather have six or seven good sized babies than four huge babies. <laughs> Regardless, I'm still happy with any good eggs, so I'm not complaining whatsoever. So we're just going to go ahead and get these four eggs in an incubator box and you can kind of see right at the top there, you can see a little bit of pink. That would be where the embryo is actually attached. These eggs definitely look really good and really viable. And just like the other eggs, it's going to take them roughly about about 60 days to actually hatch right there. And then we're gonna have some baby Mexican black king snake for you guys. And we have a whole bunch of females that are gonna lay, so it's gonna be a really good year. Well, let's hope it's gonna be a good year. You never wanna count your baby snakes before they hatch. But that's it, just two clutches today. That's pretty exciting. Now, I do have a guy that's coming to visit today that I'm excited about, a guy I've been following on YouTube for a long time, so he should be here any minute. All right, guys, so I'm taking a quick break. I am pretty excited about this because this is my friend, Justin Odishu, and believe it or not, he was like, a huge part of my daily vlog. You didn't even know this, but uh, Justin does the most rad Premiere Pro After Effects tutorial. So if you guys wanna learn how to edit, not that I'm very good at it, but he's taught me almost everything I know online. So I'm gonna put a link to all of his stuff in the description. Make sure to give him a follow. And if you guys wanna to aspire to do cool Facebook videos, YouTube videos, Instagram videos, whatever the case may be, please check him out because you won't find anything more. Now we're into our world, okay? Yeah, so get in touch. Justin, what do you think, man? I don't know what I signed myself up for right now, but we're about to do a podcast interview, so if you guys want to hear some of his story. You ready for this? What do I, uh... Just, like, just hold it like a baby. All right. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> what do you think? It's soft. Isn't that cool? Hey, we'll see you later, Justin. Yep. Bye! Yep. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Justin, this is the first time you've held an alligator, I take it? Uh, yes, this is and, the uh, first. And what do you think? Isn't he cute? 
It's soft. It's softer than you'd expect. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to show Justin a few other animals before we get into the podcast. But uh, hey, guys, give this guy a like because look at he's badass. He's holding RJ. First time ever. So Does he like me? I, can't I think he loves you. Look at RJ. His teeth are very Do you like him? I think RJ likes him. Justin did good with the alligator. Justin is a little bit out of his comfort zone. I'm not going to lie to you. Usually at a computer. <laughs> at a computer. Well, we got to get you out into the bush. We got to take him on some crazy African adventure or Australian adventure. Get him out really. All right, good. This is going to be awesome. Uh, we're just going to introduce him to one snake, and of course, we're going to introduce him to Sunrise here. All right, there you go, man. All right, Sunrise has met Justin. What do you think, huh? It's That's not, not so bad, bad. Huh? yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? I'm afraid, like, I'm going to rip her skin. Oh, no, she's super, super, t I mean, you can't hurt her, trust me. And she won't hurt you. This particular snake here is absolutely incredible. This is a snake that we literally take around, like, four-year-olds and stuff like that oh, yeah, that are yeah, just yeah. getting used to snakes for the very first time. This is, like, a big snake, but not a huge snake. We didn't want to bring out Daisy or Lucy and really go big. We thought this was a good kind of entry level. Yeah. And, uh, listen, we still have a podcast to do, so the last thing I want to do is get Justin killed before before we yes, start recording. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't hear from me again. Just I've got a good collection of videos you guys can learn from. Exactly. As, as long no as we more. as long as we have that the legacy for sure. But uh anyways, Sunrise is actually an unbelievable animal of course. It's a great way to kind of get people uh just kind of used to big snakes and stuff like that. So uh Justin you did absolutely incredible. What do you say we make a podcast? Let's do it. You're just getting back in the swing of things here at BHB and there's been so many things that I've looked at that I've been like oh my god I miss you guys so much and so of them got so big. Look at Perdita here. Of course, Perdita got upgraded to a little bit bigger cage because she is getting so big. I mean, just take a look at this monkey right here. Oh my God, is she absolutely incredible. I mean, look at how dark those spots are getting and how big she's getting. I mean, what an amazing snake. And again, I've been going around just getting reacquainted with all of my beautiful animals. Oh my gosh, the color on this girl is freaking me out. It is so absolutely amazing. But I'll try to to maybe go around tomorrow and maybe just say my hellos to all my animals you know things that you guys haven't seen for the last couple weeks but uh, I've already kind of seen everything to be totally honest with you but maybe I'll take you on the journey and just say hello to RJ and all my other stuff Bella and all the stuff that you guys are probably like oh I can't wait to see him again uh, again so much is going on here it's hard to really keep up to be totally honest with you but that's this time of the year when you get to this time of year things get crazy I mean egg production season still breeding season babies are too far off still got to work on the zoo next door. I mean, I tell you what, things are coming at me quick. I'm so happy to be home. While I was away, you guys sent me a whole bunch of really cool stuff. I really love this shirt. Check this out. Unicorn Squad. I'm definitely going to be wearing that shirt. I think that's absolutely incredible. And this is really cool here. Take a look at that shirt right there. It's got a fish on this side and a really cool flying fish on this side. And then they also sent me a white version. I mean, take a look at how gorgeous this is. Now, these are actually shirts that are made in Italy and it's from a company that is actually promoting marine biology. So I really appreciate this. I'll put the link in the description for these guys. And again, they said that, you know, they didn't put a marlin or a tuna on here. They actually put a flying fish, really trying to express the fact that they really are about the conservation thing. So uh, it's a cool company with a cool mission statement. I also got this, uh, which is a big gummy snake. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't know who sent this to me. So if you sent it to me, thank you so much. I mean, this is absolutely good. Cool. I'm not sure how I'm going to eat a big gummy snake, but uh, but it's awesome. So thank you guys. And, and like I said, you guys sent me a bunch of letters and I, I love you guys so much you always make me feel so welcome when I come back to things so uh, I love these shirts though aren't they cool you know, just a real quick break before I get out of here first off tomorrow I'll get the crew back in the vlog because again it's just been absolutely crazy since I've been back trying to just kind of get caught back up regardless I wanted to tell you guys you know that was an amazing trip and it's all about stepping out of your comfort zone I've said this a million times my comfort zone is back here at BHB with my family but the truth is is that you can't experience life if you're not willing to step out of your comfort zone. Now, I realize a lot of you guys will probably not have the ability to go to Africa or to Australia or all over the place like I do, but that doesn't mean that you can't still step out of your comfort zone. And take a drive down the road to a cool adventure or to go out in the woods or to meet new people or do things. I mean, you can't live your life to the fullest unless you're willing to go outside that area that makes you the most comfortable because that's where you're going to get your most experience and grow as a person. So continue to follow that. 
If you want to go do something, just make it happen. Because trust me, once you make it happen, it is so amazing. And I'll carry this experience and all the other experiences I've had throughout my life along with me forever. So that I can always look back and think, what an amazing time. I mean, listen, I almost got killed in Africa with Forrest. We made it out okay. The country is amazing. It doesn't make me think any less of the country. I cannot wait to get back there. There's a good chance we're going to be back in about two to three months to go get that big crocodile that Forrest wants. So listen, it was an amazing time that we had. And I just want to encourage you before I get out of here, follow your dreams and go outside your comfort zone because trust me, it is so worth it. So I'm going to spend the rest of the evening just kind of chilling out by the pond with my puppies and of course Lori and we're just going to enjoy the evening. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me and I love you guys so much. Have an absolutely amazing day. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Smash that like button. Turn those post notifications on. Remember to be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.